we delve into the dark and fascinating world of Cytodes fusca, also known as the spitting spider. This creature, unique among its kind, possesses a remarkable ability it can spit a mixture of silk and venom onto its prey. But like every great miniature predator, the Cytodes also has its needs. Here we see her in an intimate moment, excreting a liquid substance, reminding us that even the greatest hunters need to take a break. In previous videos, we have been fortunate to observe how other species of spitting spiders efficiently capture all kinds of prey. To have such accurate aim, they need exceptional vision, capable of precisely measuring distances and calculating the exact angle of movement of any prey they intend to capture. Although their vision is not as sharp as that of jumping spiders, it is complemented by the sensitivity of their front legs to perfect their hunting. At times, they don't even need to spit silk to catch prey, as their stealth and patience are equally effective tools. Its diet consists mainly of small flying insects and other spiders, making it a true nightmare for its fellow arachnids. Let's see how it manages to capture faster prey. Despite appearing to be a slow and clumsy spider, its reaction time is incredibly fast, proving that beneath that calm facade lies an agile predator. Its silk is so strong that a single shot is enough to trap its prey. The venom that accompanies the silk it spits contains paralyzing toxins, ensuring that its prey becomes partially immobilized as soon as it's trapped. But what would happen if it encountered the queen of the web-weaving spiders? In this case, it's a male Stetoda triangulosa. Despite its small size, this species has an incredibly strong web and potent venom, which could put the spitting spider in a tough spot. We observe that as soon as it detects the movement of the Stetoda, which it hadn't seen before, it reacts instantly, demonstrating its instinct and sharp reflexes. But pay close attention, because something unexpected is about to happen. You can see how the web that the spitting spider launched is extremely sticky and strong. It has easily cornered the false black widow. But when you expect the cytodes to approach and feed, surprisingly, it doesn't and decides to leave her in peace. Surprisingly, the spitting spider didn't spit at the stetoda to feed on her, but because the sudden movement made by the false widow triggered its alarms. It reacted immediately, shooting its silk as a preventive measure, without the intention of hunting. Once again, the other spider has been cornered. Although the spitting spider shows no signs of wanting to feed, it remains alert, closely watching her. The male Stetoda slowly starts to break the silk that's holding him trapped. As it dries, it becomes more brittle, eventually allowing him to free himself and escape. But there are still remnants of silk clinging to his body, which he must free himself from, while the Cytodes watches him closely. And then something surprising happens both spiders seem to engage in a silent conversation, as if they reach a tacit agreement. Neither of them seems to have any intention of starting a dispute. It should be noted that male Cetoda triangulosa spiders are not aggressive and generally avoid contact with other spiders. 
They often spend much of their lives near the females of their species, who provide them not only with protection but also with food. The females' webs, much larger and more efficient, catch a greater number of insects, providing sustenance for both the females and the nearby males. But what if the spitting spider encountered a female false widow? We observe this female stetoda, much more active and quick, showing no fear in the presence of the spitting spider. The stetoda even manages to push the spitting spider out of its way. Then, with a warning motion, it makes it clear that it should retreat, asserting its dominance. The spider's quick and abrupt movements finally succeed in scaring off the spitting spider. The speed at which this female stetoda moves, covering the entire area with her web, is truly impressive. Unlike the male we observed earlier, she is gradually cornering the cytodes without it realizing, increasingly depriving it of its space. These spiders are extremely territorial, sharing their space only with members of their own species. Once the stetoda feels secure in the web she has spun, she makes a sudden movement, a strange dance indicating that she is ready to hunt. This peculiar dance allows her to locate her prey, using the vibrations in the environment to guide her. Once she has managed to locate the cytodes, she launches a torrent of silk, but the spitting spider is ready. With a single spit, she counters the unstoppable avalanche of silk coming her way, demonstrating her cunning and speed. Our spitting spider, unlike the stetoda, shows no signs of wanting to feed. Instead, it chooses to retreat. In a very short time, the false widow manages to free herself from the web using her fangs or chelicere. This time, she chooses to be more cautious instead of launching directly at her prey, she focuses on covering every corner of the area with her silk, gaining ground and increasingly hindering the spitting spider's movements. Ultimately, she completely corners it, marking a clear victory for the stetoda. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to continue watching this content.